yeah, man, this is, um, I'm not going to do no big um, introduction. This is straight from my guy. Um, big Hypes. R.I.P. Big Hypes. Lamar Jackson, a.k.a. Big Hypes, a.k.a. Hypo, a.k.a. Big Drip, a.k.a. No Little Spill. You get what I'm saying, my guy, man. And um, I'm so glad I'm doing this now because if i done this at nearer the time, and I'll even talk to you, are you even like, if i done this nearer the time, it would have been done through anger and it would have been done on a different vibe. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And um, I didn't want it to be about that because it's not about that. My guy's, my guy's gone. So it doesn't matter about the anger side or that we want to bring and the pressure we want to bring and what we want to talk about. It matters about what is really happened here. Do you get what I'm saying? And he's gone. That's the that's the plain, that's the plain and simple facts, man. My guy was a loving guy, caring guy. And let's get and, and before I get to it, because people always, when someone passes, no matter how other people perceive this person, because we'll talk about that, people always um will be like, oh, there's people always say nice things about them. But we will. And it will be from the people that actually know him. I spent years and years of my life with this guy. So I know this guy. The people that will say, I don't really know my, I don't really like my man under the, I, ga I can guarantee you one thing. They don't know him. So it's not even a pressure that you need to have right now and say like, Raw, I don't know what I think about my, you don't even need, it's for me to love him. It's for my guys to love him. It's for his family to love him. And for us to understand what he done. 100 million percent this guy was argumentative. Very argumentative. Will argue with himself in a room. One of those man like. Real talk. But love and loyalty is second to none. So if we're talking about on that side of the road, the love that came from this guy from that side of the road was immense. The loyalty that comes is immense. The loyalty and love and respect he has even for his 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 friends, his family, his friends' family is just immense, like and it's, it's never going to be questionable from anyone that knows this guy. Do you get what I'm saying? Everyone does things in different times and my guy just got engaged. Do you know what I mean? And everyone will, everyone before that would be like, when, why, why is he doing this? And why did he do Because you're just looking at a video and seeing a man um, show off his jewels in a vid. So you're just thinking, no, I, I, I don't really like, you just don't get it. And people hate what they don't get. Do you get what I'm saying? And people got hypo and some people didn't. And it's going to be the same for me. If I go, you're going to... I always say, if you hear someone say something bad about me, change the people you're speaking to. Because obviously that's a horrible person. Do you get what I'm saying? Because men are good guys, bro. Like, and the same thing I'm going to say about my guy. Like, he was, he was, a, he was a very good guy. And it's me speaking. So it, 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 there is someone out there that's going to be, no, he wasn't nice to me when he done it. I hear that. Same like me, though. Do you get what I'm saying? But my point being, when I'm saying this, is no one don't deserve to die from that, though. Do you get what I'm saying? Because people would be like, da -da. you wouldn't really know his story. You'd just be like, oh, he's a bad person and he done this to the... That doesn't mean someone should die. I know murderers, murderers on murderers who are forgiven and thought, he doesn't need to die. He doesn't deserve to die. Or do you know what I mean? So, um... But we're going to get to that and the way it's happened and this, that and the other. But this is just about more. This part here is about me and him, how we grew. Um, was very close, very close. He slept on my couch. I've slept on his couch. I've slept in his spare room. He slept in my spare room. So the love that we've had for each other, even with being in different worlds. And it's been so beautiful because I can show you messages now um, from my guy just being like proud of you. We're in different we we're, we're, we're in totally different worlds, but proud of you, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? I always see it as it's more than that, but it's like four friends, and you're on a desert, and you're all one's going north, one's going south, going east, and going west. You've got your kids, your missus, your whatever on your back. All of these things are not in your they're on your back and your on your rucksack. Someone's got his money, he's got his girlfriend, he's got his wife, he's got his baby mother. And north, south, east, west, you're just taking off. And after everything's done on the streets, you're all going in different directions. And we all just pray that everyone makes it home safe. 
because that's how I am. We're all in different worlds and we, I'm in different worlds from my guys and we don't see each other every day and this, that and the other. But what we build up, what we built up over 20 plus years, it's like, it can never be replaced and it can never be taken away. So if it can never be taken away, it's there with you. And as I say about the, the line about going off into the sunset, imagine you and your four mates going off into the sunset and an hour down the road, you've, you've gone in your direction north or your bridging's gone south, but you've heard, a, you've heard a gunshot or something. Do you get what I'm saying? But you have to keep travelling because if you go back for him, it could be, do you know what I'm saying? It could, it could wreck your journey and mean danger. Do you get what I'm saying? So that's the stage what we're at. And I just want everyone to go off into the sunset. My, my homies don't want nothing bad for me. We don't want nothing bad for each other. So when these things happen, it really Fs with you. 100 million percent, bro. But I wanted to do this talk and holy for my guy to let you know how much of a dope guy he was, man. And um, banter for days. Banner for days. You wouldn't know it if you didn't know Hypo because he, you, you're meeting him and a, a lot of people will be like, yeah, I met him at this dance. If you're meeting a guy in a dance, catch the persona you're going to get. I'm talking about meeting him, playing FIFA, playing pro, hanging together for the whole day, buying food, going to restaurant, eating in. Do you get what I'm saying? He always used to say, Tricky, you'll use cooked meaty lamb chops all the time. Do you get what I'm saying? He's the only man, I'll tell you, like that I made my famous, um, my brother taught me when I was younger, curried egg. Now, don't try, before you start, put curry back powder in your scrambled egg and watch the taste. It's amazing. And Hypo used to be like, Tricky, it's mealy, it's mealy, it's mealy. Come to my house one time and I made him, he battered it. But Hypo's a guy who'll eat your food and still say it's mealy. He was like, no, 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 Tricky, that's mealy, that's mealy, that's mealy. But um, yeah, he was, he, he was a dope character, man. Like, he, he was like, for his people. Do you get what I'm saying? And anyone who's for their people, then there's nothing but love. There's nothing but love. But for this this thing that's happened here, I've had people who are in the normal world. I've had people who don't really know him that say they were touched by this. Do you get what I'm saying? And I think they were touched because this is someone that you, you if not see in the flesh, Instagram is good enough. And we see on Instagram. Do you get what I'm saying? And we can see on the gram and make out what we would of a person. It's supposed to be like whatever you want to do. Do you get what I'm saying? But this is someone we know to be real. He was the, the, definitely much alive. The, the, even the younger generation, they know of him. So um, I think that's what that's why it was a shock. And you know, some people you just expect to see for the rest of your life. I don't expect none of my homies to die, but... And I haven't got the names of the ones that I expect to see for the rest of my life. But you know, some people, it's just like he was one of them. I can talk about him because we're talking about him. You just expect to see for the rest of your life. He's gone through a lot of, he's gone through a few dangers before. Do you get what I'm saying? And um, you just expect that oh, it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to be totally all right. Like nothing's going to be, nothing's going to be a problem. Do you get what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, there's so many things I could talk about, and I, and I, but I want to cover certain parts. I want to give a, a a little shout to my guy, and let you know about how far we've come. We've come from the blocks. We've come from prison, prison where I used to drop his mum to him. Do you get me? He's the only man I've paid five hundred pound for a pair of trainers for, ever. Ever and it won't happen again. He was like, Tricky man, come on, man, please, man, just buy me these. Da, 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 da. And I, um, and I took like three weeks. This is a joke. I took like three weeks to really get around my head. I'm paying 500 pounds. And his mom reminded me the other day, and she was like, Tricky, remember when you bought them 500 pound trainers for him? I was like, I was, fe she was like, you was fuming. Imagine going on a prison visit and seeing your guy, and the first thing you're saying is, don't ever make me spend 500 pounds <laughs> on trainers. But because I knew that's what he done anyway. I was like, yeah, cool, 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 cool. I don't want a man to go to jail and you're buying forces, air forces on road and then you go to jail and you ask me for £500 shoes. He was doing that anyway. Do you get me? Like, he was very much into his fashion. Hypo was way ahead of his time. Hypo will wear something that only him and Drake's got. And he'll be like, look, 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 look. Only me and Drake's got this. You get me? He was very much excited like that. We were so different, but so close. It was so crazy. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um... 
But yeah, let's talk about the actual, well, not the actual night, because I don't think there's anything to talk about in that department to explain the night. I'm not here to do that and, and give people their, um, because as I said from the start, what's happened is happened. So it's not for me to be saying, hey, this is the story of my man. Should have you, it's, it's whatever. But the basics of the, like the, the, the main thing I want to take from this story is what I say to a lot of my guys and how I move. We've got to stop taking ourselves around regular, regular niggas. Do you get me? And when I say regular niggas, I don't mean guys who are broke. I don't mean guys who are just go college or just, did, did. I mean the regular man who could just touch you. If you're in a certain position, just the regular person and in, in, in these regular places, because it's not about the people. I mean, it's not about um, my guys being there and this man should have done. It's not about that. It's not about um, the, the, the club that it was in. It's not about that because we've been to a hundred of those clubs. You get what I'm saying? It's about the people. And we've been around a hundred of them clubs when we're in the same mold as them people in there. But now you're going in there, and this is where I say the regular nigga. This is where I call it the regular man. Your mindset is in a different place. Because your mindset is in a different place, you can't go around men whose mindset is not in the same place as yours. He's regular now. Do you get what I'm saying? You're on a different level. And that's what me and my guys will speak all the time. And he'll be like, Tricky, why don't you come? No, 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 bro. I'm not going around anyone that is... And I see them do it a lot of time, maybe through fear, maybe through other things on gang shit. They tolerate you. They don't love me there. They tolerate me. Or they don't do it just because that guy might do this and that guy's involved and da 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 But I don't want to be around that sort of love. That's not good love. You get what I'm saying? So these men are taking us in a place where they're just tolerating us in there. And the minute, and, and I always say everyone will when they feel they can. Do you get what I mean when I say that? Everyone will when they feel they can. So if they haven't done anything, it's because they don't feel they can do it. When they feel they can do it, that's what... And, and that is on any day. So that takes me away from you forever. Because I just think, I'm not here for you to make a decision on my life. Do you get it? Man, I'm making decisions on man's lives, bro. Man like yourself, man like me, uh, making decisions on your life. I'm not here for that. Man didn't go in, inside places and make decisions on no one's life. Whatever anyone will hear about our gang shit and this, that and the other. Man didn't make no decisions on no one's life. It was just 90% protecting ourselves. 90% of the time, bro. And that's a lot of times. Just protecting ourselves. Yeah, make sure my man don't, yeah, because these men might try it. Because we've known that since we were young. On, on any given day, a man can feel like, I want to I wanna stab you. I want to throw this in your chest. Do you get what I'm saying? On any given day. Because all a man says, you know, my man's a cool brother, you know. He wasn't even about that. Everyone is, bro. Just on the day they feel they can be. When I'm on the streets and, 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 and bare guys are out there, I know, I can tell. I can see these guys' energy. I can tell that you lot don't love me. You just love the fact that I can make something happen to you in 0.2 seconds. So you, 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 you're, 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 you're loving me through fear. That don't last, bro. Because the moment you stop fearing me, you're going to act different. If you, if you come through love, the moment you stop loving me, you won't act different. You just stop loving me and drop it. But when the fear has gone, it's like, no, no, I'm a bad man. No, I'm a bad man too. Everyone's got something to prove. I'm not going into a place with 500 egos and I can only control mine. Are you crazy? Are you crazy, bro? And this is what I say for my guy. My guy was just in a place where the regular, the regular nigga can approach you. Because a lot of the times, the street niggas, when, when we meet other street niggas, there's normally an argument because they both kind of don't want it. And it takes them there. So a street nigga to another street nigga, you're kind of going to have that argument. And what I'm saying, what, 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 your mama's age, don't, don't take me for the, you're going to get an argument. That's all I'm, give me a chance to, to argue and, and let's try and get through this. Do you get what I'm saying? Other man, they're weighing up what they've heard from other people. So someone's probably let you know, and this is my point, I'm not going into it to say who and this, that and the other, because that's irrelevant. Do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's like someone has made you feel that you can do that. If you do something to me, bro, someone's made you feel you can do it. Or you just don't like me off your own back. So if we can't say you just don't like me off your own back, then someone's made you feel 
that you can even do that. And once I came into the world where I've clocked, raw, the regular nigger on the street feels that he can do that. It's too much for me, bro. I'm from an era where men knew what they was doing. So if they put a hand on me, they knew what was coming from that. So they wouldn't do it. This era now, a man will approach you. Walk on, cuz. The moment a man done that to me, bro, I thought, yeah, I've got to take myself away. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's a lose-lose situation. And this is why I always say, it's not about the club, it's about the people. So I take myself to clubs, but I don't take myself around these people. Do you get what I'm saying? Because these people, you're the million pound prize now. So you used to go in there as a hundred pound nigger, just looking at the million pound prize, thinking I want to be like them, man, them, man, I'll kill it. All the celebrities might walk. You're the star now when you walk in. Even to these, um, even to um, a celebrity, you, you're on, you're famous on the internet. You're a star when you walk into these places. Why do you think some of these places don't go? Well, some of these people don't go to these regular places. And it's not about the regular place. It's about the regular people. They're just regulars, bro. But they're allowed to get that close to you where they can throw a drink in your face. They can stab you in your chest. They can do whatever. You're not even supposed to get that close. I can't get that close to Jay Z, bro. If, so I can threaten him all day. And Jay-Z, if I want to punch you in your face, uh, cool, bro. You ain't never getting that close. And it's rightfully so. Do you get what I'm saying? Rightfully so. And, and we have to have, and that is just, forget him being a billionaire. That's a billionaire's mindset. So we just have to have the mindset that I can't go into these regular places with these regular people. I can't be amongst regular people to where people, I, I, I have enough of that just walking on the street. Do you get what I'm saying? But being in a, in a in a confined space where someone decides like I want to do this on their night and I want and I feel froggy, so I want to jump. I'm not here for that, bro. I'm not here for you to just make a quick 10 second decision on my life. And this is what's happening. Do you get what I'm saying? But on the same front, I'm moving on to the next part. When people scream gang shit, this is what it is. And this is for the youths. When you scream gang shit, yeah. This is what it is. And when I say that, let me explain myself or people think, because this is nothing towards my guy. I know my, what my, how, how, how his heart was. So I know my guy. People talk and, and, and they don't even know. Do you get what I'm saying? But um, when I say that, I mean, what did I just say? This is what, sorry, love, this is why you got your hair. <laughs> This is what it is when they say gang shit, bro. Because I like to tell people and people are like, no, but you're cool now. And da-da. When you sign up in the first place, bro, even when we're cool, because I talk for my guy. My guy had a studio. My guy just proposed to his missus. He weren't on that sort of time. Do you get what I'm saying? He was flying out and doing too much business deals for him to ever be on no gang shit. So he wasn't on that. But we're from a world where when we go out in certain places, we've got to protect ourselves in a certain way. That doesn't make you a gang member. He ain't been a gang member for years, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? You lot just take for what the, the captions he might put up or the videos he might do or you might see him around a couple of young young bucks and you just make that decision. But when I say about the gang shit, I mean, and Hypo used to tell me this, Tricky, just because you want to be cool, it don't mean the world's going to be cool with you. Just because you want to forget that you was um, on the streets, it don't mean that they're going to forget. And I wish I could have told him the same. Because he told me that out of his own mouth. Am I getting a lump in my throat right now, bro? You understand what I'm saying? Like, 100%, bro. Like, this is real shit, bro. And man ain't listening. That with this gang shit, bro, when we sign up at a certain age, like, just because we say, cool, it don't mean... that. That's the, that's the part, yeah? That's the part. When the average nigga feels like, all right, cool, yeah? <laughs> and he builds himself up while you take yourself down. Do you get what I'm saying? So this is where the youths have to understand. Like, don't don't think that you're going to be rah, 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 cool when you think, oh, I can handle a prison sentence. I can handle, I can handle myself on the roads. It's more than that. He handled himself in prison. He handled himself against any ops. It's more than that. It's just because you're known as that person, you become a prize, bro. You become a prize, bro. You become, you become a person who gets hated for no reason. These people hate man and they don't even know man. Just off pictures. I didn't like that caption. I didn't like that picture. I don't like the way my man's moving. You don't know him, bro. You don't know him. But this is gang shit, bro. 
So, and when I say this is gang shit, you see, I nearly got a lump and nearly um, um, put tears in my eyes just now, bro. It's coming again. Do you get what I'm saying? This is what I mean, bro. This is gang shit. It, it, it's, it's like, when I'm saying it, that's the part I want to get to. The tears, the hurt, mumsy. Me sitting down with a man's mumsy. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Three o'clock in the morning when everyone's gone home and it's just me and his mum. And his mum don't even know what... I, I don't know what to say to his mum. And he don't know... And she don't know what to say to me. She just wants to ask me questions about her son. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's real, bro. It's real, bro. It's real shit. And this is what everyone's um, scared to do. Because they don't want to get emotional like this. Or they don't want to get tacky. So they want to tell you about the part of the jewels. They want to tell you about the part of the girls. They want to tell you about the part of the prison that they handled. And they put up pictures in their cell. But they don't want to tell you about the part where men are dying, bro. Let me tell you about another part. Where I say to his missus, because I've done it to certain people before. What, like, what, what do you want done? What are we doing? What are we doing here? And I say to his missus, in a kind way, not even on a street way, anything you need, you know? And I've said this a few times. I'm going to tell you another story about one of my other homies, mumsies. Because this is the gang shit part. Don't forget this part. This is what I'm saying to niggas. Don't just think about the clothes and the jewels and the... What about this part, bro? Well, you don't know what to say to a man's mum and her son's gone. Her only son. What do I say, bro? When you feel like it's your fault. Do you understand? When you feel like it's your fault, bro. What do you say, bro? Do you understand? Yeah, this is gang shit. But this is the part of gang shit that you like ain't speaking about. That man ain't coming forward and saying, you know what? Man's on this gang thing. Like, da 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 da. What do you say to a man's mama? I said to a man's missus, what do you want, man? Like, anything you need, like, I, I, I got you. I, to, within my power, I've got you. Do you know what she said? Do you know what she said to me? I want you lot to drop this stupid code of not talking and I want this thing sorted out. Do you get it? She's not from the street. She don't want bodies to drop. She's not from that world. She wants her husband back. So that's the different side where you can't just um, 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 handle it with a burner. Do you think he, his mum wants a hair? Don't worry, mum. I'm going to make someone turn over his head. I think his mum wants a hair that? Oh, my son. Oh, my... Oh, oh, you think his missus wants a hair that? Oh, my fiance. I had to put my head down, bro, because I had no answers. I've got answers for street niggas. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, boy, like, make my, make sure I look you dead in your eyes and say, make sure my man, you know what, clap him over, bro. Like, make sure my, my man do him something, you know? I could do that in my whole heart. And that's one side of gang shit. What about the other side, bro? When I can't go with my whole heart to your mum and tell your mum something. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is forever, bro. Because I'm way away from gangs. But my, my, my homie's mum came to me, like me and one of my homies, we ain't been talking. And um, her other son passed away. She came to me the other day. Um, at high posting, and she was like, because um, I, I, I haven't talked, to, I haven't talked to, to the son, so I haven't called her. Very disrespectful because she's family and, like, and we're family and it's not no beef drama. Like We're not going to be in nothing with me and the guy. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But his mum was like, D don't do that. You called me. Her son's been dead twenty years. She goes, "You've called me for." She got you got um twenty one years coming up, I think. She goes, "You've called me every single year on his birthday, and on the day he died." That's me, bro. I promise you, I do that. I promise you, I done that. And I don't think man's hearing me. Twenty years, I have phoned my friend's mum every single year on the day he died and on the day on on his birthday, every single year, but one, and she noticed straight away. Because that's gang shit, bro. Let's, let, let, let's talk. It goes on. It doesn't stop. It involves people. And this is where my heart, and this is where the heart breakdown comes, bro. Because it involves people that didn't sign up for it. He may have, people might say. And I may have, people might say. So they might not want to see the tears. And I don't give a shit. Do you get what I'm saying? Man is man, bro. Man's still going to rock how man rock. Like, but there's people that didn't sign up for this. These girls that, there's girls from our hood that have come to every single funeral that I've gone through. They, they, they didn't sign up for this. His mumsy didn't sign up for this. Do you get what I'm saying? And this is what we forget when we sign up. Oh, when I got, when I die, my mum's going to be hurt. Ah. Oh. So we're signed, trying so hard to keep mumsy protected and love mumsy. And that's the one person. Because us guys, we're going to get on with our life and we're going to do certain shit. His, his mum might not. His missus might not for a very long time. Do you get what I'm saying? And this is what we think about later. Last. 
We think about these things last, bro. And it is these are the parts of the lessons that I wanted to get out there so they can understand. And they can say, like, you know what? Well, I'm not here telling you my guy's a saint. 100% he ain't no saint. But I ain't not going to sit here and say that. And I, I, bro, I protected murderers when I see them on trial and think, oh, gosh, he doesn't deserve the chair. He doesn't deserve to. Um, he could have learned by about 10 years later. He doesn't deserve f a 50-year sentence. Do you get what I'm saying? Come on, man. Like, and this is, this is, this is, this is heartfelt, bro. And I even got emotional just now, but I would have been mad emotional if I'd done this the day after. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I, and I, I wouldn't even want to take this time, bro, to big up. Like, I want to big up just randomly, like, like, Tion Wayne. Like, I want to big up C-Biz. Um, um, Fred. And that's Fredo. Um, Mouth and them, um, French and that, obviously, like, do you get what I'm saying? And I know everyone don't talk, but this ain't, this, this, we're not here for that. Um, but for, for the things that they put up on their Instagram and for everyone who's put out a message for my guy, like, big up. Like, um, who else? Who else stood out and just and just put up a random message and was just like, and I, and I picked up these people because just like Tion Wayne and just like CBG, they, they, they didn't need to. And CBiz even addressed the the fact that some people were um, disrespecting it, saying good and man deserve it and this man da da da. And I'll address, and I'm not, and I'm so glad I'll do it now because I'm not gonna address the guy it was because he's a so called enemy anyway, so he's supposed to do that. But that lets me know the sort of person I'm dealing with and the character I'm dealing with. Do you get what I'm saying? So as I, as I do with people that I even know. You, once you sort of know the person you're dealing with, you can just wipe your hands off and say, you know what, ooh, ooh, ooh. we're dealing with a different sort of character. Because we're living in a world now where everyone feels the more disrespectful you are, the more gangster you are. Do you know how I've watched people pass away that I couldn't give a shit about? Do you think I'll ever say that in public? Do you ever think I'll ever say that to their mum? Because that's not a part of the gangster life that we breed. Do you get me? So even when CBiz spoke about it, I thought, yeah, because he, he, we ain't questioning his gangster. He's been gangster. You get me? And gangsters have hearts, bro. Gangsters, people don't think we don't have hearts because of the way we're willing to protect ourselves and do certain things. But gangsters have hearts. And that's what I was so, it was so beautiful to see. That even man are out screaming this and screaming that and did a, no, nah, I've got time for that. You get me? Man ain't got no time for anyone disrespecting. And I'll say it, even when um, Dutch done it. Like, and not going to go too far in because I don't want no back and forth and I don't want no one atting me on no back and forth thing. You get me? Because it's not that time and his people know my people and I thought it was mad disrespectful and because we ain't, we haven't got no drama. So you got an issue with Asko, you apply, you address Asko personally but not on the day that my homies passed and laugh about it and his mum saw that. So all I'll say is you either apologise or you don't and when I say that is if you want to sit there and be a bad man and, and let the ego come between this, don't apologise, bro, because I'm not threatening you with that. Catch what I'm saying. You either apologise or you don't. Because it's nothing for me. It's bigger than me, bro. It's bigger than me. There's a whole load of furious people that are not playing that game. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's bigger than me. I'm just giving man a platform to say, you know what? You apologise or you don't. It's so simple. So you don't, and, I, and I'm doing that so someone can't come back. Because if I say you apologise, a man are going to tear you down, bro. Tear you down, literally on the streets. You, mumsy, anything, man, see, man's tearing it down. What? What? Huh? Huh? You're going to get aggression. But if I say you apologise or you don't, if you don't apologise, I shouldn't hear nothing back from you. You should just not apologise. And then I'll know my answer. Do you get what I'm saying? And if you apologise, drop the ego. Apologise, bro. It was way out of character. We ain't got no... And why I'm saying it to him and not for the other guy who we've probably got dramas with is because I expect it from him. Me and you ain't got no dramas. You've lived in Man City for time, bro. Man ain't got no dramas with you. Man don't even really know you. Do you get what I'm saying? Man ain't got no dramas with you to be you to be doing that. I understand Asko had something to say about your little um, girly situation. I get that. This is not the time to address that. Ha ha, your boy got blamed. It is dead serious. Do you get what I'm saying? And as I say, bro, I always understand what I'm dealing with now in this day and age. This is why I talk how I talk. If you're going to let your ego get in between that, go ahead. It's not a problem to me, bro. It's not a problem. Like, so, I, I, sorry, Mega Man as well. God bless. Me and Mega, we've done an episode together. Me and Mega, we ain't chatting every day. We don't even follow each other. He, he, he sent a, a, a heartfelt message. 
Him and Hypo weren't even that cool. Do you get what I'm saying? And I said, big up, because that is gangster. Me and my man weren't even cool, Tricky, but boy, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you understand? I ain't nothing to do with that, and da 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 I ain't going to laugh on a man's death, and yeah, that, that's... That, bro, he's gone so far up in my estimation, bro. I'm telling you, it's, it's ridiculous. Do you get what I'm saying? So, so, so solid could sell fongs, bro, and I'll buy about 18 for my girl. I'll buy the whole thing just for Mega, because that was big, and, and I thought... It takes a lot of, while we're talking of the ego and the thing, it takes a lot to drop the ego and say, you know what? And have people say, oh, he's a dickhead. He's shook. No, I ain't, bro. It's not going to take nothing away from Mega doing that. Do you get me? Big up to my man. like, did it. And, 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 and I brought him in to say that my man didn't even need to do that. You're from Hackney, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? What are you trying to start? Not nothing, nothing's, nothing's going on. But what are you trying to start? Do you get what I'm saying? Because you laughed at a man's death, bro. You know, that's hurting a lot of people. You know, even Mumsy saw that. So take it. So take me, take all my niggas, take every block that you know me um, um, affiliated to, take everything out of the equation. Think of a man's Mumsy, bro. So before you get on the, no, what's Tricky saying? What man's talking about me? That's why I don't send no threats, bro, because I can't be bothered with man coming back to me. Because once you come back to me and you start disrespecting, I know what it is. And it's just like, I just shut down. Do you get what I'm saying? Think about a man's mother, bro. Because that's what I think about. Do you get what I'm saying? I've approached a man who I've got dramas with and he's been with his mum. Hi, mum, you all right? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's respect, bro. Don't lose your respect because you feel you're a gangster. Don't lose your respect. What do you think? Gangsters just lose respect. I know a man that will thump in your face and carry your grandma's bags across the road, bruv. Do you understand? D -d Don't think because you be disrespectful, that makes you more gangster. Because this is what they think in this day and age. When you hear them rappers rapping about a dead man, a man dead, yeah, smoked him in a spliff. It doesn't make you more gangster. I promise you, bro. When I watch these things, I think the more you do that, biggest eager, biggest eager. Do you understand? Because I know gangsters that won't say 10 words to you, bro. What do the most. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't feel that they need to. Do you know, like, it's not, it's not a certain bravado. It's not a certain ego that comes with it. It's just you being you, bro. It's just you being you. And you are coming with all the extras. This is all extras, bro. Man never, man, man, do you know how much man the man killed back in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s? You wouldn't even talk to him about, hey, 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 don't, don't bring my name up in that. Silence, bro. These man here, I did that, I did this, I come to your house. All right, cool. And then the feds come and they're like, you know, as I say, then the tears come. And this is how it goes in these situations. When, if something happens now, off of the strength of that, because as I said, I'm here talking as one man from a, from, from, from a, um, a department, a block, a city, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of unhappy people over that situation, bro. So you saying that, and on the day, everyone's seeing it. You see what my man... Yeah, 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 don't watch that. Yeah, 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 don't watch that. Yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Hurt, bro. Hurt. Do you know what you're doing, bro? Your boy got blammed. Do you think that's a joke? Do you think that's a joke, bruv? As I said, bro, you either apologise or you don't. If you don't, like, this is more, more to do with my guy. And, um, yeah, man, I think I covered a few departments here. I think I covered a few departments. I think I covered what I wanted to do. I wanted to share a bit of where our love comes from, um, share a bit of what my guy's done for me. I don't even think I've done that. Like, he's done a lot for me, bro. Like, do you get what I'm saying? People might have heard one or two stories and one or two of those stories could have been because he's helping me, but you've judged him off that. So his judgment is, I'm keeping my boy safe. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm following my boy to the toilet just because he's got jewels on. No trick, you're not going along. I'm coming. I'm following my, he's calling me and I'm at play, bro, bro, you cool, make sure you take, I'm going to send some of the young ones with you, man, just, he's doing things just to keep me safe, do you get what I'm saying, but you might judge him off that, and you're not judging me, because I look like the one that's out there all cool and, and happy-go-lucky, so you'd be like, oh, no, tricky, did a, bro, my man got engaged to his missus before me, I ain't even got a gal, like, real talk, everyone's growth's different. Everyone's growth's different. My man had a whole studio. I'm trying to build my studio now. Do you get what I'm saying? My man had a whole studio. He's been every business meeting that Mash Town ever went to. It was hypo. My man came to me in 2018 when I just started doing my podcast. 2019, actually. And tried to get me a deal with um, Kick Game. They got Craig Mitch doing it now. But hypo came to me. 
like in 2019, bro, and goes, Trick, I want to try and hook you up with these, these, these people that are doing these trainers and da 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 da. 2019, if, if you work at Kick Game and you're one of them people there or the owner, come on here and say it's facts. Do you get what I'm saying? He's been doing that, bro. Even my little podcast world when I'm in my world and he's not in my world and he's been like passing the baton over. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So that's where he is. Like, his, his relationship with his mom is second to none. Second to none, bro. And this is what we don't see on the gang side of things. Do you get what I'm saying? He was born on his mum's birthday. He's born on his mum's birthday. She'll never forget that birthday ever again. Do you get me? For so many reasons. He was so proud of that. Do you get what I'm saying? Me and mommy stepping up. Do you get me? Hey, come on, bro. Birthdays, man. Like, you get what I'm saying? Big hypes, man. And this is from, we've come from everything, bro. Like, where we've got a share a kebab and chips because one of us ain't got the money so he might just have like a, a, a 360 on him and man's brock yeah let me dip some of that do you get what i'm saying oh man's brock so man's going to your mom his mom's house for mom's to cook for us and then we come back out on the roads when we're eating because we ain't got no food we ain't got no money to buy food on the outside so we've come from that level we've come to go in prison and me um picking you up for a town visit do you get what i'm saying we've come to we've come from um Shotting together, doing everything together. Do you get what I'm saying? You know when you got that bridge and this. I'm just trying to say this so you can understand where we come from, bro. And I didn't do this with every man. You know, you got that bridge and where you pick him up at ten in the morning and you drop him home at one in the morning. Do you get what I'm saying? That was me and hypes like re restaurant two, three times a day, weed in the car and rolling around and doing nothing certain times. And when we when we got the first studio, we got the first studio, Mastan studio together. So it's all of that, it's, 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 it's all of, it's, it's a lot. So, and I'll say that to say when people come to me and be like, how was you look? Was you look cool relationship that we're grown fucking men? Do you get what I'm saying? And we've come through a lot, 20 plus years. So if you don't see me around, let me tell you a secret. I don't even follow my niggas. Go and check his account now. I don't even follow him, bro. Because I believe when we speak on the phone, and when you DM and text me and, and WhatsApp and all of that, I don't need to see you on Instagram. How about always you say, Tricky, stop playing a prick, man. Follow me back, bruv. You dickhead. It's, it's only recently he goes, you know what? And he messaged me and he was like, you know what? I'm not even following you again. And he, uh, uh, but he called me three times in one day and was like, Tricky, come on, bruv. Follow me back. Follow me back. Bro, if you're not trying to follow me back, it's me hype. She spoke to me three times today. Yeah. And you're worried about the gram. You know what? For real, bro. It's me. You're phoning me, bro. You got me. It's me. You know how many people can see me on Instagram and I follow them, but they can't phone me. Nowhere, I, nowhere I hold you. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, that was we we used to have little stupid arguments about um the silliest things. See, me and Habbas had an argument for two years, bro. Two years and we're not talking, and we've got the same brethren. So my brethren might call me, and then Habbas come with the next one of our brethren. And it's like five of us in a room, but me and Hype was not talking, but the other rest, like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll hype to pop past that catch up. So yeah, told Tricky I want that catch up back. That's how we used to move. <laughs> so it's no beef, it's never, it's always like, and we never done it, we, we never spoke for like two years, but obviously we've got the same brethren, so all of our friends are talking and this, that, and the other, and then everyone's like, nah, you and Hype man, like, you kill me, like, da 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 da. Long story short, some madness happened with me. Who do you think of the first person who called me? Come on, bro. Hypes. Yo, you dickhead, man. What what happened, bruv? I'm saying, who's this? He's saying, it's Hypes, bruv. Who the fuck? What happened, bro? You get me? And my heart dropped straight away like my guy. You heard? Yeah, man. We'll sort out our thing after, man. You prick. Like, what is it, man? You get me? Real shit. What is it, bro? First man, bro. Anything. A man, a man could hear, like, you know what? Someone, like, took some hair off of Tricky's head. I want that hair back. You get me? That's my guy, bro. That's my guy. And not only for that, for, for everything. Even for his little, like, because it's not only gang, gang, gang business. He used to call me up to talk about his missus. Yeah, I want to get my missus back, man. And da 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 trick. Because I've had a missus from young. So all my mates will come to me about any missus situation. They see me had mad dramas. Tricky, what did you do at this time? And, da -da -da. and it's just like, it shows another side to him, innit? Like, he, he, he had that side. He's a human being, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? And this is when we're, as I say, when I'm in a positive mode, when you're in a negative mode, yeah, all your thoughts are negative. So after, you just want everyone dead. You want this to happen and that to happen and this to happen. And 
now when you get in a positive mode you just want everything positive to come from this like for me for my family for his family for his missus do you get what i'm saying for his sons who are growing up you get me this is who i'm speaking and when i'm when i'm when you see a a, a, a tear coming from my eye that's who i'm looking at bro his son who's 15 now and going outside about to go outside a son, a son who's two and about to go outside in, in about 13 years without his his father and as much as man want to say, no, nah, man's got his ute. You ain't, bro, because some of you man ain't even got your own utes. So let's be sensible when we say that. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's hard enough, and no disrespect, because it's hard enough to even have your own utes. So catch what you're saying when you're saying it. But this is gang shit, right? This is what we sign up for. Because remember that part. He's left the son now. What happens here, bro? Do you get it? What happens to his son? Who don't know where to put all this energy. My dad's gone. No, no, no. man. Where, what happens now? Who's going to spend every single day to go and buck that ute to make his story straight? Because it only takes an hour for it to go wrong. Who's going to be with him 24 hours a day? Not even me, bro. Not even me, bro. Let's talk reality. Not even me, bro. As much as I want to say it. As much as I want to say to his mum. I'm here for you, mumsy. Didn't see her yesterday. How do I know yesterday she didn't have a breakdown? I can't be there every day. Man's trying. You understand what I'm saying? And remember, with 100 homies and, 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 and like 15 of my homies dead, that's, that's, that's 15 mumsies. I can't keep on contact with every mumsy. I can't keep in contact with every sister, every brother, because we're not thinking about these. And these are in the hundreds, bro. If, 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 if 10... Man, like, okay, cool. Let's say, let's not go to 15 or 20. Let's go to 10 men have passed away. And 10 of my guys come with 10 family, 10 family members. It's 100, bro. And that's just a grandma, an auntie, two cousins, a brother, a sister, a, a, a mum, dad. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they're two youths. That's 10. And they're all the mad closest to them. That's not even like a distant second cousin. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is serious. It's real, bro. It's real. It's real. It's real, man. It's real. And I, and I want you to take the parts of just being around the average people, letting people get that close to you. I want you to take the parts of the gang shit and know what it entails. Like, I want you to take the parts of the love because my love ain't going to go for my homie, bro. My love, my love ain't going to go for a man who's done so much for my life and a whole part, a whole chunk of my life. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going into different places, bro. But anytime I think back now, you ain't there. You're there in memory, but I I, I want to be able to um, meet you in a pub and say, bro, do you understand what I'm saying? Come on, man. This is this is like, and, and I've been speak. This is why I don't feel shy speaking like this now. Because I've been speaking like this. So now they can say like, oh, it's because of his, because before they would have said, he's only going hard now because of his homie. I've been going hard. I just didn't know it was going to be that homie. But I knew it was going to, something was going to happen out there. Do you get what I'm saying? It's the streets, bro. It's the streets. It's the streets. And it's just so happened that it's my homie now. So on that front, Tricky, don't stop speaking. That's how I speak to myself. Don't stop speaking now, bro, because it's your guy. Because when it was our guy, you gave us all the answers. What about now it's your guy? Do you get what I'm saying? Come on, man. And on that note, RIP Lamar Jackson. Hypo, big hypes, my guy forever and ever made us sit there. And anytime I think we're going to have this conversation, um, I want to have this conversation. We're going to have this conversation, man. So this ain't the last. But um, yeah, man, RIP, um, whole type, Mumsy, Jamil's, love you guys, everyone in the city. Nothing but love, blessings. God bless.